I just completed my PhD from Stanford last year and I came for Sadhana Bhada and I also had the fortune of doing some Yama with you. Thank you once again. Um, so during uh, Samyama, you said people who are naturally sensitive, they tend to be fragile. So this has been kind of true my whole life. Uh, so for example, even now if somebody touches my back or my left side, I feel like punching them. Oh, very sensitive you are <laughs> That's the instinct, but uh, I control it. Okay. <laughs> because of uh, ten years of inner engineering. Uh, so anyway, uh, not just that. Uh, when it comes to smells, foods, uh, electromagnetic radiation, etc. So this limits my ability to function in the world. So I was wondering if there is uh, any sadhana that I can do, or people like me, uh, so that they're not just uh, sensitive, they're also strong. Like Hanuman, he was very sensitive, <laughs> but he could take one-fourth of the Lankan army single-handed. Oh. So, they said uh, he had the blessings of Shiva, so I'm also seeking the same. <laughs> Sensitivity. <laughs> Should be, you must be life-sensitive. People become ego-sensitive, physical body becomes sensitive. No, you must become life-sensitive. If you become life-sensitive, how would you think of punching this guy in the face? Hmm? If you became life-sensitive, such a thing would never occur to you. Now, body has become weak not sensitive, weak. Right now you see you're all right, I'm saying any of you, we're not talking about the PhD guy <laughs> If you are right now, you're all right, but let's say, this is not the time to say this, let us say you are having a flu and feeling little like that, not corona, before. <laughs> Pre-corona flu you had, feeling like this. Somebody as much as touches you feel, oh, yes or no? When you're well, it's okay, you can rub shoulders with people. When you're unwell, everything matters, small, small things. This happens to you not only physically, even when you're mentally suffering with something, smallest things set you off. So do not understand, understand that as sensitivity, that is weakness. When you're weak, you become fragile. That fragility is different. Sensitivity which makes your body fragile is different. Fragile not in terms of weakness, like Hanuman. No, no, I don't want to talk about Hanuman in South India, you should not talk about him because we have a lot of issues with him being who he is. <laughs> the Tamil man. You made lot of misinterpretations about him, we don't like it. So let's leave it there, let's not get into one <laughs> historical problems that we have. But sensitivity should be of life sensitivity. If you sit here, your life reverberates with everything. With those crickets which are going crang, with a bird which is sleeping, with people who are sitting here, even a little tiny insect that's crawling, your life reverberates with all that. Now, your sensitivity becomes a means to know. Right now, your sensitivity will push you into a corner in the world. Yes, it will push you into a corner where you cannot do anything after some time. Your sensitivity should be an empowerment to life. If you become life-sensitive, sensitivity becomes the means to absorb and know everything. Right now, this sensitivity will create allergy for life. More and more, you will not be able to bear with people around you. 
everything irritates you. This is not sensitivity, this is irritation, agitation. This comes out of a certain level of weakness in the system.